So I want to do something a little different. Um, as most of you know, I'm trying to go meatless and I started with seven days because I didn't want to overwhelm myself. And now this is the end of the seven days. Now I want to go another seven days because I'm doing it basically to see if there's a difference in like my energy, if there's a difference in uh, my digestion, um, how well do I digest food, and also like I've heard things like going meatless like will change your entire like body chemistry, the way you smell, like I don't know. You know me, I'm very curious and I just want to see if it's true. So um, yeah, I did the first week and honestly, even when I started, I knew one week wasn't going to be long enough because usually for like large changes like that, like there's like your body goes through, um, I don't know, just a period of time where it's like uh, getting used to it basically or just acclimating. And so I think I'll see most of the changes this week. So this is the second week. I have seven more days. It'll be a total of 14 days. And I just went grocery shopping at Walmart, <laughs> one of my favorite places. And I was just gonna share with you guys um, some of the foods that I picked up and what I have in mind of how I'm going to cook them. So one of the recipes is actually like a Mexican casserole. Usually it's like, it's supposed to be like a salsa chicken recipe, but I am doing it without the meat. So it's like refried beans, corn. I think another recipe or another ingredient is like black beans. And I have some sour cream because I love my sour. And so I'll just put up a picture. It's one of those uh, Pinterest recipes. So I'll put up a picture of that. And then I got some sourdough. I'm going to try toasting this. I mean, sourdough toast is really good. Um, but I'm trying toasting this and I'm going to make these little brie and fig jam. I'll just put up a picture. They didn't have the type of bread that I needed. So I got this instead and we'll just cut it up and yeah. This is the jelly that I found. It's like a lemon fig. For some reason, Walmart didn't have a very large fig jelly like selection. This is the only fig one. Um, I should have went to Publix, but Publix is like on the other side and I was just like, no. This is gonna be a quick trip. I got some avocados and I'm gonna be doing more avocado toasts. If you guys have been watching, um, I've been posting some pictures of some of the meals I've been making. So I'm gonna be making some more avocado toast. So I got enough avocados. And then I got some everything bagel seasoning and I'm really excited about this and basically it's gonna go on top of my toast um, you know I have regular bread as well just like um, the oatmeal type bread of this same brand but I think uh, it'll also be good on the sourdough I really like sourdough <laughs> and yeah this on top and then sometimes I'll probably like fry an egg and put it on there and it's gonna be cute it's gonna be really cute and then last week I got some hummus. They have so many different hummuses. My favorite hummus is like a garlic one, but you really have to be careful if you're eating too much of that, your breath is just gonna reek. And so this time I tried a different kind. It's like a lemon cilantro hummus. And I bought it last week, so I don't have it to show you guys, but with hummus, like there's a lot of different things that you can dip into it. You don't always just have to do like bread, but I did get non bread, which if you're wondering what that looks like, this is what non bread looks like. It's just a really, really flat bread. Um, but you can also also do like um, carrot chips dipped in hummus and these are also good dipped in like ranch but um yeah just to get in more vegetables and carrot chips you could do like bell peppers um, raw whatever um i got some more baby spinach you guys have probably seen most of the pictures of what i do with baby spinach um if you're trying to get like glutathione from all of these vegetables and stuff like that it's best to do it uh, with raw vegetables so the way i've been cooking it i've been basically cooking out the glutathione <laughs> but um yeah you can do it either or i'll try to figure out i don't know i just get some regular spinach salad recipes or something um i always just liked my spinach sauteed with some chickpeas in it and then i got some zucchini zucchini babies and um there's some really cool zucchini boat recipes i'm probably not going to make that this week um mostly i just got the zucchini and squash and i'm going to dice it up um put olive oil on it season it and then i'm going to put it in my air fryer and it's going to be delicious here's a picture from pinterest um yeah it's going to be really really good i got some lime so i can um I should have i was looking for the fresh lines but then i saw this and i was just like i'm just going to use this and just to uh I guess put on my avocados and yeah so it'll have like a tangy flavor and then I got some bagels bagels were really on the list but these are like pumpkin spice so I got excited 
Um, I like bagel sandwiches, like with egg and cheese. Um, this was a uh, impulse buy. These are really good. The Reese's Take Fives. Um, I have a bit of a sweet tooth. What else? Okay. So last week, I think I got some veggie pizza from Papa John's, which was delicious. And then. So I won't be tempted to order pizza again. I just got this to put basically in the deep freezer, just in case I have another pizza craving. But this one is a spinach, mushroom, and garlic. And you know, freezer pizzas like aren't the best, but to keep you from going to like a fast food type place, that's basically why I got it. So when I really, really, really want something, I got some cheese. This cheese is like a Monterey Jack and it basically is going to go in the um, salsa, gosh it's not salsa chicken recipe anymore, okay. The meatless <laughs> salsa recipe, I don't know what to call it. Here's some taco seasoning, obviously I'm not going to have meat in it so the taco seasoning is just going to go on the vegetables and stuff like that. I basically just bought everything that's in the recipe and I'm just going to make it as normal. Um, this is another like quick type of meal. It's like a Mediterranean blend. I think it has potatoes. I see zucchini, squash, carrots. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. But you just pop it in the microwave. It steams it. This is brie, which I've actually never had brie, but it goes on my little fig brie recipe. Um, you already know I like cheese. <laughs> and then I have bell peppers. I usually dice up uh, my bell peppers and then I freeze them. I put them in a bag and I freeze them and then when I do my home style potatoes in the morning, I'll yeah, just throw them in the pan and yeah, cook them a little bit with some olive oil and then I usually finish it off in the air fryer to get it nice and crunchy. So and yeah, that was everything. So this was just like enough stuff just like to get me through the week so I would have more options. Like I said, I think I showed you guys a few pictures from last week of what I was eating to get through, you know, the first seven days. And even when I went out, um, I did good. I didn't have meat, but I did get that grouper sandwich. <laughs> I didn't even get to finish it, so I'm still going back and forth with myself if I, um, yeah, if I should do fish or not. Um, we'll see how I feel this week, because um, I really do like tuna. Anywho, I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, stay tuned for some random pictures throughout the week of some of my meals.